Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, has reportedly issued an urgent request for quotation, RFQ, to global experts to address critical internal noise issues identified in its light utility helicopter prototypes. The noise-related challenges emerged during flight trials, prompting HAL to seek specialized solutions to enhance cockpit comfort and operational efficiency. The LUH, designed for reconnaissance and logistics roles, is a crucial part of India's indigenous defense aviation program. By engaging international expertise, HAL aims to rectify the problem swiftly and ensure the helicopter meets the required performance and safety standards before full-scale production. A parliamentary committee has reportedly criticized HAL for systemic inefficiencies affecting key defense projects, particularly the Dhruv helicopter and Tejas fighter jet programs. The panel raised concerns over delays, production hurdles, and lack of proactive R&D strategies, which have impacted the timely delivery of these indigenous platforms. It has urged HAL to streamline its processes, enhance coordination with stakeholders, and accelerate technological advancements to meet operational requirements efficiently. The committee emphasized the urgent need for reforms in HAL's approach to ensure India's defense aviation sector remains competitive and self-reliant. The 14th edition of the India-Russia Bilateral Naval Exercise is set to take place off the coast of Chennai from March 28 to April 2, 2025. The exercise aims to enhance maritime cooperation, strengthen naval interoperability, and improve joint combat readiness between the two nations. Featuring advanced warships, submarines, and maritime aircraft, the drills will focus on anti-submarine warfare, fleet maneuvers, and maritime security operations. The exercise highlights the long-standing defense partnership between India and Russia, reinforcing their strategic ties in an evolving global security landscape. It also aligns with India's broader efforts to bolster naval capabilities and regional stability. Russia's foreign minister recently expressed alignment with India's foreign policy philosophy, particularly the concept of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, meaning, the whole world is one family. He acknowledged India's inclusive diplomatic approach and emphasized that Moscow shares a similar global perspective. His statement highlights Russia's continued support for India's vision of fostering international cooperation beyond geopolitical divides. The remarks come at a time of strengthening Indo-Russian ties, with both nations collaborating on defense, trade, and strategic affairs. The endorsement further solidifies their historical partnership amidst shifting global alliances and geopolitical tensions. Defense analysts have reportedly raised concerns over the relevance of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's HLFD-42 as a fighter trainer for the Indian Air Force. Experts suggest that instead of proceeding with this model, India should explore a stealth-oriented lead-in fighter trainer by utilizing AMCA and Tejas MK2 technologies. They argue that a next-generation trainer would better prepare pilots for modern air combat scenarios. This debate has sparked discussions about India's approach to pilot training infrastructure and the need for an advanced training ecosystem in line with future combat requirements. The Bharat 52 howitzer, developed by Kalyani Group, has reportedly gained prominence as a strong contender for the Indian Army's tender for 400 towed gun systems, valued at approximately 6,500 crore rupees. Following the success of the ATAGS, or the Advanced Towed Artillery Gun System, Bharat 52, is being considered due to its indigenous design, firepower, and range capabilities. The Army's procurement aims to modernize its artillery fleet with advanced, long-range systems. Industry experts believe this competition could strengthen India's self-reliance in defense manufacturing, aligning with the Make in India initiative for bolstering military preparedness. ISRO made significant progress in its semi-cryogenic engine development for the LVM-3 launch vehicle, achieving a breakthrough on March 28, 2025, with the successful hot test of the engine power head test article, PHTA, at its Mahindrajiri facility. The test validated critical subsystems, such as the pre-burner and turbo pumps. The semi-cryogenic propulsion system, developed by ISRO's Liquid Propulsion Systems Center, will enhance the LVM-3's payload capacity from 4 to 5 tons in GTO. This achievement follows the establishment of a specialized test facility in 2024 and is a crucial step towards powering future Indian launch vehicles.
Russia has offered to jointly develop an advanced flat-engine nozzle for India's EMCA fighter, contingent on India choosing its Izdalai 177S engine. This proposal, discussed during the Aero India 2025 Expo and in subsequent talks, aims to enhance the AMCA's stealth capabilities. The Izdalai 177S, a fifth-generation engine derived from Russia's Su-57 technology, promises high thrust and stealth features. India's AMCA, developed by DRDO and HAL, requires a powerful engine for its Mark II variant to meet performance goals. While the engine offers promising power, concerns arise over untested flight conditions, integration challenges, and potential delays due to development hurdles and international sanctions. The proposal aligns with India's Make an India initiative but poses risks, including reliance on Russian technology. India must weigh this against alternative options, such as France's Safran engine, as it moves towards a 2032 to 2035 AMCA induction timeline. The Indian Cabinet Committee on Security recently approved a landmark deal to purchase 156 light combat helicopters from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for over rupees 62,000 crore. This order, the largest ever for HAL, will see the helicopters built at their Bengaluru and Tumkur plants. The helicopters, split between the Indian Army and Indian Air Force, will be crucial for operations along the China and Pakistan borders. The LCH, also known as Prachand, is designed for high-altitude regions like Siachen and eastern Ladakh and is capable of firing air-to-ground and air-to-air -air missiles. HAL was awarded the tender in June 2024, with the Indian Air Force leading the procurement. This deal supports India's push for self-reliance in defense manufacturing under the Make in India initiative and follows other significant orders, including the 83 light combat aircraft and 307 ATAGS howitzers. G Aerospace has begun delivering F404 IN-20 engines to support India's Tejas light combat aircraft program, with the first engine handed over to HAL on March 25, 2025. This marks a significant step in ensuring the uninterrupted production of Tejas MK-1A fighter jets, following previous delays. GE plans to deliver 12 engines in total by December 2025, with additional engines to follow in the coming years, aiming to support HAL's goal of producing 16 to 24 jets annually. The F-404IN-20 is a modified version of GE's F-404 family, specifically tailored for the Tejas MK-1A. This delivery also addresses past challenges in the program, including supply chain issues. As part of its ongoing commitment, GE intends to ramp up deliveries to 20 engines per year starting in 2026, aligning with house targets for the Indian Air Force's fleet modernization. That's all from YTS Team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.